Alright, so this video is about relations, domain, and range. And it's going to be fairly theoretical, but we're also going to do some uh, little questions here. But it is quite theory heavy, I suppose. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into a fairly uh, wide conversation about relations, domain, and range. So let's just talk about, say, a group of five people. And I'm interested in two things about these people. I'm interested in their age, and I'm interested in, say, their shoe size. So the five people have the following age slash shoe size. I have a 15-year-old with a size 8 shoe. I have a 16-year-old with a size 10 shoe. I have a 15-year-old with a size 9 shoe. I have a 16-year-old with a size 8 shoe. And I have a 15-year-old with a size, I don't know, 10 shoe. So, um, that, they can be put on a graph, I suppose, with our first coordinate being x, and our second coordinate being y. And we'd have age and shoe size. So a couple of quick definitions. An ordered pair is an x and y coordinate. So we can just call that an ordered pair, an ordered pair, an ordered pair. There's five ordered pairs there. Um, a relation, which is what this is, and what this video is about, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So we've talked a little bit about sets when we were doing probability. Uh, this is a set, and we can put some sort of curly brackets around it. This is a set of ordered pairs. We can do a few things with those ordered pairs, but before I do get into those, I'm going to talk about the other important bits of this video, which are domain and range. So domain and range, they always get mentioned in the same sentence. Domain is all the x values of a relation, and a range is all the y values of a relation. So I can say that the domain of this relation is domain, uh, curly bracket, and then all the possible x values. So 15, 16, 15, 16, 15. The only possible x values here are 15, and 16. So a relatively small domain. Now the range, we can do the same thing with curly bracket. The range is 8, 10, 9, 8, 10. The range is 8, 9, and 10. Now it doesn't have to be sequential. So if I added another student to this, um, say uh, a younger student, with large feet, then our domain changes slightly. Um, a 13 year old student with size 12 feet. All right, so my point is that it, it was in order, like it was, sorry, it was one after the other, 15, 16, 8, 9, 10, but we can have gaps in there as well. What, if someone had enormous feet or was incredibly old, like Yoda, could be like a thousand years old or whatever it might be. We have a thousand in there. So domain and range, all the possible x values and all the possible y values. Don't get the two confused. Last thing I'll say before rubbing the off and moving on to a slightly different idea is that relation as a list is what we've done here. So we had a list of x and y coordinates. And then we've been able to look at that list and look at the domain and, and look at the range. But relations don't need to be expressed as a list. There is another way to express a relation that you've done heaps of in the past. All right, this might look like gibberish, but it is stuff that you've uh, seen before, uh, particularly this bit in the middle. Uh, okay, so what this says is the relation can be expressed as a rule where the set of ordered pairs x and y follows the rule y equals x plus 1, where the x values are the, sub, are the set 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so what does that look like? You've done this before. Uh, if x is 1, 2, 3, 4, then y will be x plus 1, so 1 plus 1, uh, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, and 4 plus 1. 
uh, a table of values. So this is just a fancy way of saying this relation as a rule, the set of ordered pairs follows this rule where x is these specific numbers. Our domain is 1, 2, 3, 4. We can see that our range is 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, it's going to be tempting to graph this as a straight line, but it is not. It is a series of points. Point 1, 2. Point 2, 3. Point 3, 4. Point 4, 5. Four points that should be in a straight line, but we can't draw a line through them because they're singular points because x is only 1, 2, 3, 4. So this relation has a rule of these single points moving up. But we can create a line if we just change that slightly. So slightly different, it says the set of ordered pairs represented by the rule y equals x plus 1, where x is in the set of all real numbers. So x can be any real number, positive or negative. Now we have a line. So now we have uh, y equals x plus 1. So it's a line that looks like that with a gradient of 1 that goes on forever and ever. Now, in this case, the domain... is uh, x is all the real numbers because it goes on forever that way and it goes on forever that way whereas the domain for this specific case was 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, important to note that includes all decimals as well 1.001, 1.002 etc. So the range y is all the real numbers because y can go all the way up and y can go all the way down. Um, okay, so, done a few things, we had an ordered set of pairs, we graphed an ordered set of pairs, we graphed a rule that created an ordered set of pairs, and we created a rule that created an infinite number of values, domain and range. Last thing I'm going to say about this is that we can represent this using something called an arrow diagram. So here I'm back to ages and shoe sizes, and I can represent my x and y coordinates, just put there bracket on there, represent my x and y coordinates using what's called an arrow diagram. So writing down all of my x and y coordinates, I have 15 and I have 16, and I write them on the left hand side, all of my shoe sizes, 8, 9, 10 and 12, and then I can draw an arrow diagram joining the x's to the y's. So 15 gets joined to 8. And so that arrow diagram represents that ordered pair. 16 to the 9, 15 to the 10, 16 to the 12, and uh, 15 to the 9. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too much about this. That's a way to, um, to represent a relation. There is something we need to talk about. We'll talk about it in a future video. I'll just have you note that 15 seems to go to a few different ones, but also a few different ones both go to the number 9. That's for a future video. All right, that's relations, domain and range. A lot of different ideas here, but all culminate around that idea.